Today's video will be a little different than our regular videos. I'll be responding to your comments! Whoosh! It's a... Your responses on our videos have been... awesome. Downright amazing. And we wanted to respond to you. And we thought responding in video form would be the easiest way. In this video, I'll be focusing on some of the comments on our 15 unanswered questions video. I, I agree that Shiro does look a lot like Keith's dad, but Kogane has not been confirmed as Keith's last name in Legendary Defender. If it is, then the thematic similarities are quite striking. Yes. Okay, so I'm thinking omnidirectional hover technology, and maybe a little magic. The rooms do experience some strange gravity when in flight, but for the most part, I believe the rooms just kind of float in the castle. So no matter how the castle is positioned, the rooms are always upright. Sort of. Maybe since it is a castle, the anti-gravity has to make compensations, so they do end up walking on the ceiling. This is a very good question. They all just kind of look like cave runes, etc. So I DK about that. But regarding the energy of the blue lion, I personally don't believe that it was a connection with blue, because if there was a connection, the runes would have glowed. I suppose. But they didn't. I personally believe that the blue lion knew that Voltron wouldn't be possible without the new paladins, because obviously. Blue knew who the paladins were before they knew themselves, just like the cave drawings foretold Shiro's arrival. Some sort of spacey, wacy, timey-wimey thing is happening. Blue was probably sending out a homing beacon or some sort to attract Keith to her, so the other paladins would come and eventually form Voltron and stuff, etc, etc. And also, why doesn't she really seem to be as determined to find her dad? Like, she hasn't really talked that much about him, so IDK. Thank. You of all people should know! Well, the Gara seemed pretty laid back in their conquering because there had never been a force like Voltron to oppose the Galra, so they might have been, you know, taking their time searching for the lions. We know that Kerberos was already in one of their sectors, so maybe they were just a patrol in that sector, not equipped for full-on conquering, just observation. And then Shiro and the Holt stumble upon them, so they're like, oh no, people, we gotta do something with them. We can't let them go back and tell everybody that we're here. But there's still way more to this whole thing than we know. The possibility of the supposed white lion being on Kerberos is high. If there is a white lion, we don't know what its element is. And we do know that each lion was found on a planet that corresponded with each lion's element. So yeah, the white lion could be on Kerberos. So thanks for watching this video. And a big thank you to the people who did comment on our videos. And uh, please continue to comment. We're gonna try and make more comment response videos for you guys. Thank you to everyone who has watched and liked and commented on our videos. It really, really means a lot to us. It's really fun just to come up with theories and share them with everybody. And we love, we absolutely love reading all of your comments. And we found it hard to respond to everyone we couldn't write something down for all of you, so we were like, let's respond in video. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. So long!